Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is what pattern of transmission is most consistent with the pedigree and we propose uh, four variants autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant, X-link recessive and X-link dominant and from what we see it seems like this is X-link dominant for example a male in the first generation has defective X chromosome I will show it with red color and normal Y chromosome and female is phenotypically and genotypically normal and take a look what's going to happen if male has defective X chromosome and female is phenotypically and genotypically normal. So let's build simple Punnett square and take a look. So in the progeny we are going to see following genotypes and phenotypes. So defective X chromosome would be inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome would be inherited from the mother side and normal Y chromosome would be inherited from the father side. So in this couple here we would see that all females are going to be affected and none of the males are going to be affected. So let me again circle with red color those who are going to be affected. Again, this is X-link dominant genetic disorder. So females are not going to be carriers but are going to be affected with this genetic disorder and this is exactly what we see in their progeny. For example, we have here one, two, three sons. This couple has three sons and none of them affected with this genetic disorder. But uh, this couple has two daughters and both of them are affected with this genetic disorder. So the genotype is going to be defective X chromosome inherited from the father side and normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side. And all the male progeny inherited normal X chromosome from the mother side. They only can get normal X chromosome from the mother because mother is phenotypically and genotypically normal. And of course they are going to get Y chromosome uh, from the father side. So as you see the genotype are normal. Now let's take a look what's going to happen in a couple where female is affected with this genetic disorder and genotype would be defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome and male genotype and phenotype is going to be normal. So again we build simple Punnett square and let's take a look who are going to be affected in their progeny. So defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side, normal Y chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. So as you see 50% of the females are going to be affected with this genetic disorder and 50% of the male progeny is going to be affected with this genetic disorder. And again, 50% of the female progeny are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal and 50% of the male progeny are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And this is exactly what we see. We see that this couple has three children and for example, this male got defective X chromosome from his mother's side, normal Y chromosome from his father's side. This female here got defective X chromosome from her mother's side. So she has affected phenotype and from her father's side she only can get normal X chromosome. And this male got normal X chromosome from his mother's side, this chromosome and normal Y chromosome from his father side. The other sign that this is dominant genetic disorder, you see that uh, this genetic disorder doesn't skip generations. So it has to be dominant. And in couples where we do not see that anyone is affected with this genetic disorder, we see that all the progeny also going to be not affected. And here is another example, this couple here. And here is another example, so phenotypically and genotypically normal male 
also doesn't have this genetic disorder and all his progeny also going to be unaffected. Now let's move to the second question. If individual 5-3 marries a normal, so 5-3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th generation and person number 3 starting from the left, 1, 2, 3. So we are talking about this person marries a normal individual and if the condition is known to have 100% penetrance, what is the probability that they will have a son expressing the trait? What is the probability that they will have a daughter expressing the trait? So uh, again, let's analyze what is the genotype of this person. So his mother is affected, so we know that she got one defective X chromosome from her father and she got normal X chromosome from her mother. So her genotype is here and her son, which is here, got defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So here is genotype of the son and this is exactly what we see here. In this Punnett square uh, affected male and unaffected female and they have probability to have a son with this trait is going to be zero and probability to have a daughter with this trait is going to be 100 percent. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.